math is awesome. And that's not a weird thing to say because our whole modern society is built upon math. Today, we're going to experience the magic of mathematics. We're going to try to generate an art piece. I was watching a YouTube channel called Veritasium and he explained this formula called 3n plus one. And the cool thing about this formula is that you can put anything in it. So let's say a hundred or 100 million, 3,501, whatever. And uh, it doesn't matter whatever you put into it, it always comes back to the number one. This is the perfect uh, ingredient to create generative art because you have like one point that every line gets back to, but in kind of a random way. Basically, we want to reproduce the 3n plus 1 formula in code. To do this, we're going to break the formula apart and write each part piece by piece. We'll need an array to store the results. Then we're going to make a while loop that stops whenever the value is exactly 1. If we don't create this while condition, then it will be stuck in the infinite loop. Then we check whether the number is even. If so, we divide it by two. And when it's odd, we do it uh, three times the number plus one. This is basically the whole formula. The last step is to add it uh, to the array, do some uh, logarithmic steps to uh, make it like a visible uh, graph thing, and then draw it on the canvas. Let's go. Look what I just got in the mail. It's a new toy. It's the new Axie Draw. Or well, not new one, but for me it's new. And uh, yeah, let's open it up and see what it can do. This is a plotter. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a 3D printer, but then in a 2D space and it can hold a pen. So it's a cool printer. I can use this to make my computer generated art come to life. I can attach any pen, or marker or whatever to it, then program the path it should follow and my digital art will be physical art. Wait, wait my machine. <laughs> P.S. This page was written with your machine. All right, it's time to start coding again and create the first artwork. my first piece of generative art so as you can see this is like these are the lines of the uh well the 3n plus one lines i think it's 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 pretty cool it looks pretty nice so i put it in a frame and if we compare this to real abstract art it's there's a way to go but it's already like it's already it looks already quite nice but yeah, if we uh, compare it to a painting of, uh, this is from uh, Sam Middleton. He's a super talented abstract artist. Yeah, well then uh, it's not really a fair comparison, I think. But uh, I think we can do it. So let's try to do another iteration. At this point, I was actually trying to create a spiral, but I stumbled upon this shape and decided to go with it. I found another uh, really awesome pattern and uh, yeah, I'm super happy with this. I don't know exactly how the math works in this one because this is like in the middle of the line of the formula. It's not like the beginning of the 3n plus 1 formula, but I guess I have to take up some uh, math classes to really understand what's going on here. I'll show the code. Maybe you can help me uh, figure it out because I, I literally have no clue. I really like this one and I tried to make a couple of variants. So this is with uh, three colors. So I actually did it three times uh, and I shifted the paper a little bit. I think this is already, this was already starting to look like art, right? And uh, I also did it with like a marker 
but yeah i don't know if you can see it it's a it, i don't really like this one it's too too much of a mess but yeah this is my favorite uh so far funny detail this is actually made using uh gel pens the one you use in the primary school <laughs> and uh, they have glitter it, it actually has glitter on it so that's awesome right i was really struggling with the spiral shape but after a long time and a bit of work on brushing up my math skills i got it working So that took a while to create a simple spiral. Uh, definitely need to brush up my math again. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that the spiral thing, you can do amazing things with it. Like this one, uh, you see that everything, like this is a really, really small pen, right? So you can see that every stroke gets back to the, to the middle and then it slowly expands with a bit of like weirdness and, and gets like, more expanded as we go. I think that's a fun one. Oh yeah, this one is crazy. Uh, you can really see uh, the stuff going on here. So in the spiral and then, yeah, I think this is really, really cool as well. Then we have uh, this one, which is more of like a simplified version. I actually, uh, this is actually the same as uh, this one but i stopped it earlier so basically this is the i think these are the first i mean uh, first couple of numbers and uh I, I just thought that that was like already super nice right super it's very artsy and then oh yeah this is the same but it's a, with a smaller marker so there's more detail yeah i'm not sure about that one and uh, my last piece, this is definitely uh, also in top of my favorites. I think I just need to use more color, but I slightly tweaked the formula to still have like the, the spiral, but then have it like uh, variable straight lines. I think this, this is really awesome. Great piece. Fun part about this one. Uh, the pens I used actually spilled so much ink in the center that it made a hole. So I don't know if you can see it, but my fingers, you can see my finger through it. It's actually, uh, it just broke the paper in the center because there's just too much ink there. As you can see that's uh, how many, because all of these points, all of these points is here, get back to the center to the one that's like the whole thing of the formula i loved it i really love this this was a great experiment for me uh, to explore uh, generative arts the first time i did generative art uh, <laughs> great way to uh, have some fun with math and <laughs> so difficult but like when you see the results it's also extremely fun so it's totally worth it uh, so kids Pay attention in class and do your math. Yeah, I should, I should really stop comparing. <laughs> These two are definitely my favorite. Uh, this one with the gel pens and uh, this one with the fine liners. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Also huge thanks to Mark uh, Roland, who uh, I don't know, he doesn't know me. But he made this open source uh, project Oxydraw Sketchpad, which I used to, uh, well, to write my code in. And that, that project made sure that I could instantly push it to my Oxydraw machine and have it like plotted uh, to these pieces. So open source is awesome. Uh, I'll put a link to his code base in the description as well. So see you next time. Bye. Hmm. I mean.
Did I make this or did the robot make this?